Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts, and today guys, I'll be reacting to the Star Trek Beyond official trailer that was just released today. When I heard it got released online, I'm like, okay, cool, awesome, they are releasing a trailer in front of Star Wars The Force Awakens, that's pretty cool. Then, the tweets and Facebook posts kept coming in. Oh my god, what happened? Oh my god, this is not Star Trek, I'm like, oh shit, what happened? So here I am, I'm gonna react to the trailer, obviously, with an open mind, I'm not gonna let all the negative feedback that I've been hearing today affect how I'm going to watch this trailer, but I will say, the like and dislike ratio is pretty bad right now, as you can see in the picture here. That is not good as of right now, but who knows, maybe I'll be one of the people that actually like the trailer, so without further ado, let's get into it now, guys. Star Trek Beyond, official trailer, controversial trailer, apparently, but we'll see. Let's go. Is that music? It's a good choice. Hey, well played. Okay. No shit. Whoa. What the hell? How are we gonna get out of this one? Let's find hope. It ain't possible. Oh. And he's gone. Well, that's just typical. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, bike. Let's hope this doesn't get messy. This is where it begins. Captain. This is where the frontier pushes back. What the hell is this? I know why you're here. Why we are all here. See where the controversy is. <clears throat> you know what? This trailer could be the greatest piece of marketing ever for a movie, or it could be the worst piece of marketing ever for a movie. Now, let me explain why I think it could be the best piece of marketing ever for a film. This trailer. The reason why it could be the best in some people's eyes is because everyone's talking about this trailer. I was hearing it nonstop. Once this trailer got released, I'm like, the, the, the first initial wave of people, oh my god, the trailer's out! And then the people's feedback. Then that's where it got a little bit controversial between it, you either love it or you hate it. Um, everyone's talking about this trailer. So, the reason why it's good, because Star Wars The Force Awakens comes out this week, and everybody, instead of talking about Star Wars, is, oh my god, I'm going to see it in a couple days, they're talking about this trailer. So, that's the way it could be seen as the best piece of marketing ever. Or, the worst piece of marketing, because it doesn't feel like the Star Trek that J.J. Abrams created, the reboot. It doesn't feel like that at all, watching this trailer. Now, yeah, there was fun and action and adventure and all that kind of stuff, and explosions and fighting and stuff in the Star Trek films, yes. However, the way this is created, the, the, the musical choice, which I felt was weird, I know it was in the first film, but it's weird to put it in a trailer like this, uh, for me personally, and how it's marketed, it just feels, it doesn't feel like the Star Trek that J.J. Abrams created, you know what I mean? It doesn't feel like that to me. Now, obviously, the film could be dark and all that kind of stuff, they're just marketing it like this, uh, since it's going to be in front, since they're putting this trailer in front of Star Wars The Force Awakens, maybe that was the point to kind of market and put out a trailer that's fun and adventure and all this kind of stuff in front of Star Wars. Then, after that, the actual dramatic and intense trailer will be coming out later. I don't know. But for a first trailer, it's decent. I laughed at a point. Uh, I liked the spectacle. There were some pretty cool shots, but. I don't know what to think. This trailer has got me conflicted. I'm confused. I really don't know what to think, guys. I really don't. I'm really curious to hear what you all think because 
it was so divided amongst Twitter and Facebook. I'm curious to know what you guys think. You know, what do you think of this trailer? Uh, what do you like about it? What don't you like about it? Are you afraid for this franchise of the new Star Trek films? I mean, I know J.J. Abrams is still a producer, but I'm just curious to know if he likes what they were trying to market with this trailer. Are they trying to go lighter? What are they doing? I don't know, because I personally liked what J.J. Abrams did with the first two films in the sense of the darkness and everything like that, and the dramatic elements and all that kind of stuff. There were, some f there were still fun moments, but it was really dramatic and really just heavy with the darkness and all that kind of stuff, and the tone was, you know, creepy in some moments. I liked it. This, I'm not sure. So I'm really curious to know what you guys think and all that kind of stuff. That's my reaction. That's my thoughts to it. I'm... Still conflicted. I don't know what to think about it. So let me know in the comment section below, guys, what you thought about this trailer. I'm really curious to know what you guys think. Thank you guys for watching my reaction to this video. Peace out.